2007? No, seven years ago. Seven fucking years, really? Seven years. That's some bullshit right there, is what that is. I gotta be honest. I don't know why we waited seven years. But let me tell you, there weren't this many people fucking seven years ago, so we'll play this game. Seven years later, we'll come back, there'll be twice as many fucking people. I don't know. Or, we just come back every year and we fucking do this shit every night. Now listen. Some of y'all seen this. Who's seen the Foo Fighters before? I gotta see it. Who's seen this? Shit. You got a bus pass. You been traveling. Who's never seen the Foo Fighters? Be honest, motherfuckers. Alright. It's like 50-50. Well, let me tell you something. We've been a band for about 25 fucking years, so we got a lot of songs. So I hope you wore comfortable shoes because we're going to be here all fucking night until they tell us to stop playing. That's what I'm talking about. We got a lot of songs. And we got, old, we got some old school fans. I know which ones are the old ones. All oh, motherfuckers the fucking They ain't got no hair. Now I'm not pointing to you. Maybe. See, I knew you were an old school fan. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Well, let me tell you something. For all the old school fans, we're gonna play a bunch of shit off the first record. We can do a bunch of stuff off the first record. We can do a bunch of stuff off the second record, then the third record, then the fourth record, then the fifth record, then the sixth record, then the seventh record, then the eighth record, then the ninth record. We'll try to play it all tonight before we have to go. But. Let me tell you something. For the people that have seen us before, you know we like it when you fucking sing along with us, right? Well, tonight, I want to dedicate this one to my mother. She's cool. Virginia Hamlin, she's the Irish side of my fucking family. <laughs> I'll tell you something funny. Some of you might know this, some of you probably don't. My mother was a public school teacher for 35 years, right? She's a badass. She does badass shit. When I was 12 years old, she applied for this thing called a Fulbright scholarship. I don't know if you know what that means. It's a teacher exchange. Where a teacher from somewhere else comes, lives in my house, and we go live in their house. She applied for three different countries. She applied for England. She applied for Scotland. And she applied for Ireland. And she got accepted. Guess which country she got accepted to? That's right. She got a letter in the mail that said, you've been accepted to swap houses with this man who lived in a place called Lisbon, I think it's right. So one night at dinner, my mother says, hey look, in about eight months, we're fucking moving to Ireland. <laughs> I didn't know anything about Ireland. I knew my mother's side of the family. So I started looking into it. I was like, you know what? There's some fucking good rock and roll from Ireland. I like that shit. I saw pictures of these pubs and these punk rock motherfuckers in there and I fucking had my Thin Lizzy records. I was like, I'm ready to go! And then, sadly, 
at the last minute, the guy we were supposed to swap with, he pulled out. I know. I think his father got sick. He just do. So I never got to move here. But let me tell you something. There's only a few things I regret in my life. But whenever I come here, and I see your beautiful country and your beautiful faces, and I see my mother's face and all of your faces, maybe someday I'll make it to Lisbon. I don't know. Maybe I, I, maybe I should make it to Lisbon. So let's sing this one for my mom.